Don't let what we think is better ruffle your feathers, opinions are like assholes, and assholes are like podcasts. Everybody has one. From left to right, we got the CDN first lady, Miss Shot, no chase of brandy, <clears throat> then yell in the building. We got the old black nigga uh-huh. Scrooge in the building. It's the brain, Nino Green in the building. Black whoa, Jesus whoa. Arco in the building. God bless we y'all. got CDM Bezo in the building. And last but certainly not least, we got Gym City Productions on Chuck in the back. Moment of silence for the competition. Now, one time for the queen. One time. Now I need you to make some noise for your motherfucking boys. Two times. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> And this episode is presented to you by Kiar Wine, Black Billionaire Company. And shout out to our partners over at High Tea Herbal Raps, man. Amen, amen, amen. How everybody feeling today? Man, go to He is go-tru. wonderful. Energy feeling is wonderful. good, feeling great. Energy at a Jesus at a. Jesus is wonderful. A, yes, he <laughs> is. <laughs> Bruh, right. feeling good. Hey, what well, a I'm, lovely song. I'm glad you feel good because before we get to the topics, we are here to kick a motherfucking back in. No. Oh, hey. oh shit! Because oh. your back Brave is gone. Nate, Nate the barber, oh. Nathaniel Smith, oh. whatever oh, you want to call yourself nasty, today, freaky. you freaky ass oh, shit. nigga. You nasty oh, freaky shit. ball head. Need to stay your ass inside. Ass looking ass boy. How the fuck boy. you a you fucking barber? You we got on your head on top. Of your fucking you face. know what? Normally we don't do this, Ooh. but for this special occasion, we gonna take it back mm. to a vintage mm-hmm. EHO. We gonna bring this pot in with a freestyle from Stephen Ernest. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, I got something to say, man. Mm. Couldn't hold this shit in. You hear me? Y'all. Uh, since when did it become cool to mess with kids? I wonder if that nigga think it was right if it was his. So many questions. These babies supposed to see us as protection. Of course I'm gonna dress it. My mama was molested. You sick nigga? Check yourself in, get some treatment. It's been 48 hours. I don't wanna hear your reasons. I don't care if she fast in the ass. That's a child, man. You wild. Ain't no room on this earth for a pedophile. You condone it. You just as bad as him, even worse. Can't justify the matches. That little girl don't know. Worth. Man, my daughter 15, barely know the birds and bees If you praying on the child, then you don't deserve to breathe Okay, I get it, ain't nobody perfect, but he's sick He been doing this for decades, no excuses for that shit Baby girl, don't know what's going on in your home But if they didn't teach you fucking with a grown man, it's wrong I don't blame you, your hormones change and that's normal But a grown ass man can't do nothing for you Go to school, find a trade, make some friends, be a kid When you grow up, you gon' see a sick what he did Man, I'm sad. A nigga I respected looking bad. You 50 years old, you could have been her granddad. No apologies or nothing. Just running like a bitch. Check yourself in, man. You sick. Germ. Sick ass nigga, man. I'm gone, man. You're now tuned into the number one podcast coming out of Dayton, Ohio. So let's talk about it, because Facebook been messier than a bitch this last week. Nasty mm-hmm. nigga. Dude, what really kind of like bothered me about this is me and dude had a report with each other. Like, mm. I, I fucked with dude. Like, we done spent money together. Mm. When we see each other, as always. You know, I didn't know he was on this type of time. Of course. How did this even come out to begin with? <sighs> Shit, I heard everybody else talking about it. I didn't know what the fuck was I just woke up to it. I seen text messages, <clears throat> but I don't know where the text it, messages... It looked mm-hmm. like the, the girl was texting him like she was all cool with it, and they were taking pictures. <coughs> so what I see was uh, text messages to him running his game on a 15-year-old claiming he was 31. He was 51. And then he <laughs> asked her, like... Uh, this dude's... 51? Yeah. He's 51 yeah. years old. Like yeah. 50, 50 years old. Sometimes. He was lying about his age. He's 51 wow. type oh, shit. Mm. Sorry. And he right. got like 30 kids. Also, yeah. shout out to, uh, what is it called? Dating Date Shade Room page on yep. Facebook. Shout out yep. to y'all because y'all broke the yep. story. They, they y'all are doing guys work. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to y'all. But uh, so he had, he had asked her like, is that too old to take you out to eat? <sighs> the poor little baby said, nah. So like 
they going out to IHOP, he texting her good morning, beautiful, things of that nature. And then they pop out at a poetry slam mm-hmm. together wearing fake pink polos, uh, Glad polo you put fake hoodies. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, polo didn't release that. But this is my whole thing. Mm. He lied and said he was 31 like that makes it any better. Yeah, like... <laughs> Nigga, at the age of 31, you're still, you're still old enough to, to be, be her with, dad. What's the yeah. Time? 20 years uh-huh. off his age. He said 20 you're years still off still old age. enough to be her dad. Did y'all see the little clip of, uh, what is it, divorce court that they yep. had him on? Yep, yep. I seen that. Where they what's her name? Judge Hatchet? Had, what's her yep. name? She, she read that nigga mm-hmm. right there. Told him what type of person he was right there in court. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You the type to prey on young girls and... Sure did. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Sure did. I seen the real that his son did. I know he had it. Well, I'm not surprised. Oh, that TikTok, got a lot that of shit order. was funny. Yeah, his son like walked up to the door and knocked <laughs> on the door and shit. And the he, homies came out. And the, home, and the home, he he said, "Yeah, my name is Brave Nate, and I'm here to take y'all daughters out." And all these niggas came outside and shit. Like, Damn. and they like, "Nigga, you move like oh, okay, I did see said, that. He said, "I came to take your daughter out." All of the homies came out and said. Man, how old are you? I'm 31. The nigga said, boy, you look 50. Oh, they, they recreated the bad boy. Bad boy you look 50. Nigga, you look 50. That's that crazy. shit was funny. It's but bad, it was it's bad when your son clowning you. But nigga, you is son, 50. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that was his son. That was his son acting that shit out. <laughs> if my daddy was a pervert, I'd be on his motherfucking sure. head top yeah. too. I love everybody in That's this room. But if I ever found yeah. out one of you niggas was on some creep shit, I'm on your head top. Yeah. Yeah, hey, you know how they say no Diddy show. for no homo? No Drake for no chomo. Yeah. Oh, no, no Drake. Drake. No, no Drizzy. Drizzy. No, no Drizzy. 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 <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. When it come to Facebook, I had the, the comment of all comments, baby. So wait. Nate the one in the bind now? <laughs> <laughs> so look, check dig. Uh, I don't know this, this lady's name, but she went to this man's job. My girl, Adana. Got him, walked out his job. Chased this nigga all the way down Salem. All the way on to the connector, all the way past Steve Whalen. I'm thinking he about to take her to Xenia the yeah. way. And then he in a charger that's misfiring and shit. So he can't even <laughs> He can't even get away he, from He can't even I'm snatch <laughs> off. And she in some big boy Jeep Wrangler. I could tell oh, yeah. by the hood. She always kept a nice wig. Mm. Yeah, my girl Ladonna. She wasn't gonna play about it. She don't play that shit. She never had. She shouldn't. And, yeah. that, and that's no. the Don't mother that. of, the, of, the, of the little girl. No, what's, no. Man, what's, I no. can't remember dude's She's name. She's just being owner. a real good vigilante. Shout out to the <laughs> owner of the barber shop for putting for sure. him out. Yeah, that was gonna mess up his business. He all he better have. Mm. He better have either that or watch bro get killed in that moment. I ain't gonna. Yeah, man. Like, but you know what's what's sickening to me is like I've seen comments where people were saying. Uh, how many of y'all? But a lot of y'all knew this already. Y'all didn't speak up. I didn't know this already. Yeah. First of all, if I've you done knew business this about Nate. You well. I, I first of all, I've done business with Nate before when me and my people was doing shows at Jazz Central, mm-hmm. and he came to the event. And I'm gonna keep it real. I'm an empath. I go off of vibes. I knew something wasn't right about him. I knew something just. I didn't see the, the the pedophile stuff up in there, but I just knew something wasn't right about him. So I never really cared about old boy. And then he always on Facebook made posts about women, and and it was a lot of dogging out women ass posts. Some Kevin Samuel shit. And that's why you go to kids, nigga, because mm. you can't get off what you can get off, you uh, know, with these with kids. A real with the, woman. If you got twenty seven yeah. kids, don't nobody that's want that. Twenty seven kids. I just had a conversation with a motherfucker as well, so I um. Man. It was broken down like it's a difference between liking young women and underage girls. And mm-hmm. a lot of motherfuckers already know dude like younger females. Nobody knew they were underage though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they make jokes. Yeah. yeah. Not to mention this nigga got like damn near 30 fucking kids. Yeah. So we all know that these ain't no around his motherfucking age range. Not for mm, sure. Right, you feel what I'm right. saying? His, his baby mamas is his average in between this age and this age type shit. Mm-hmm. So he's liked, we've known him, or some of us may have known him. So he was Robert Kelly. Hiding in plain on, sight. Hiding in plain sight type shit. Hiding in plain sight, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that's that what that, and that's what that, so like if you, so like if you, if yeah. I'm 30, he 30, and you 18, I done snatched your ass up. I done got you pregnant. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I like young girls. 
trying to But they ain't underage. That's right. why. And now that this shit now all that Barely. that that, that that's disease still a teenager. It is. Right. You know what I mean? Like And that but that disease got, then carried on yeah. and it caught up to him cuz 18 Ain't no that's way in the why, world. 19. That's why that goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Like, they took okay. his picture and put the I R. Kelly TP2 yeah. um, font yeah. around it. And it just made sense to use that specifically because dude is on some real life. Yeah. I had in plain sight. Fuck with young girls. So let me ask the fellas in the room. What's the age requirement for you to deal with somebody? Oh, you got to be 26 or better. Yeah, I'm gonna say I can't I can't go under no more than five years. I go I can go under five years, you feel me? Like uh let's say what, twenty eight right about now, I can deal with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm thirty three, feel me? So it's just that's just how I look at it. There's more fellas in here than just I'm, us. Um, I'm just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't even know I was you, good. I was letting everybody get I don't this. know why you said just fellas, because there's some women out here that's also doing some oh, shit yeah. like that. Yeah. Don't leave I'm that a, out. Um, yeah, no doubt. Dre and yeah. Michelle. I'm, I'm, I like older women. Oh? Come on, y'all. Please. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? So for me to deal with a younger chick, it has to be, it's already some standard, you know what I'm saying? Like, so Nigga, how old? <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> Yeah, I say about she had at least 27, 28. What about with, you? With, with me being 36 right now. Chuck. Hmm? Speaking to the mic. My girl's a year younger than me, so I'm only going a year younger than me. Well, I can dig <laughs> that's the lowest you'll go is a year younger than you? We're talking about if you're single. Yeah, hypothetically. I mean, yeah, hypothetic. once, you, once you get above like five or six years, you start getting differences in like all kinds of shit that you need to gel to get along with somebody so once you go above go beyond that then you're looking for something specific so i think that the dudes that are willing to go that low Mm -hmm. they're not looking for those girls to build a relationship with they're trying to they're trying to get something fresh that they can mold to a girl that they like they'll post that shit online and shit so I think that the, if you're going down that low, then there's a problem already. Respectfully, but personally, every person has to mold each other. About five years, probably, just like you guys mm. are saying. Okay. I was just curious. I say about no younger than 25. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Again, it would it would change. Was, if you 25, you can get your back cracked. <laughs> it would cha- it would cha- but see it, <laughs> see it would it would change it would change because the old like the older I get, I don't you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And we and I got kids, <laughs> so my my uh, my oldest is it'd be 21 in November. So it's different. God, me. you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and then my man for real is like, damn, she's 21. What Kevin Hart mm-hmm. say? Like, damn. Like, Goodness, mm-hmm. that's it. Yeah. Like, right. then it hit me like, no, that's, that's my daughter. Hey. Or it might be my daughter friend. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah So that's certain wild. shit, fuck with a nigga's mental when it comes to certain shit like that. That's why I'm like certain requirements, and and it's rare that you even catch a young girl that's twenty some years old like that. That's set straight. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, yeah, they, yeah. But that's I, rare. I fuck with older women because they just a little bit more seasoned and shit. So as the as the closet opened more. More shit was supposed to came out. So it's a girl named Queen Quails on Facebook. Shout out to her. She put a pastor on front. She said, you know, mm. <clears throat> while we on the subject of motherfuckers fucking with underage kids, mm. here's, pa- hold on, I'm going I'm to do one better. I'm going to look you up, nigga, because your it. name deserves some exposure. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Not the good reverend. Not the <laughs> good reverend. No cap. Let me it see. Wasn't he wasn't so good. He a in here. Of, a lot of people what? don't go to church. He, he, um, it okay. says, since we're re-exposing these pedophiles, let's not forget Pastor Leo Ivan Smith. I made a post about him years ago that mostly went ignored. He mm. was 52. I was 16. Wow. He came into my life as a father figure and ended up grooming me for a sexual relationship. Wow. I don't know where he's preaching now, but he's still around. Mm. And after this came out, he had two daycares that got closed down. Mm, mm. He done got kicked out of his uh, out of his church. Wait a oh, minute, time man. out, time out. Daycares. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he had two of them. Yeah, businesses. Mm. So not uh, not just businesses. No business where Dope. you can handpick children Certified. and groom them until they're old enough to your liking. 
certified PDF. He had two. Two. Yeah. Two of them. Yep. PDF. Jersey. I'm mm. gonna say. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say this. This is how right fucked. This is how fucked up we are, right? Because for centuries, this has been the method of life. Oh, grooming. It's always been grown men fucking young girls. Think about it. Don't make it right. I never said that. Sir. I, I didn't say uh, no. This, that. I've but never, now you're right, though. I'm, I've never said it. But this is the thing. As much as we talk about it, it's never going to stop. We can slow it down. You'll never slow it down. We can slow it down. You'll never slow it we down. We just slowed it down. The reason, by the reason this. This, this, let me explain to you the reason why you'll never slow it down. Because a man is naturally always going to be a fucking man. And you got some people who that don't are mean just, he hold on. Kids. Like, wait a minute, mama. You got motherfuckers who are fucked up. And with today's world and society, with how sexuality is being presented, it does nothing but provoke what is already physical or attracts a man. Seriously. And this is coming from a man. That, this, no. I'm no. telling you. Okay, let me break it down to you from this angle then. Men, we're physical. We don't see nothing but physical. That's the first thing that's going to ca- catch a man is what he sees, what he hears, and what he smells. As soon as you find out that girl is underage, you're going to be like... For those, yeah, for those who have... Okay. Yeah, but for those who have common sense. But then, again, you have those who are like Mr. Nate. You got those who are like Epstein, Diddy. Leo, like Ivan, Diddy. Smith. You, you have them. You have them. You talking to, we, we, we talk about one every now and then who gets exposed, but think about the thousands of motherfuckers who are not. You would never slow this shit down. And when, when with society protecting this sexuality shit, these young girls putting on, listen, for me, when I was growing up, makeup for a kid was crazy. Mm-hmm. It was crazy. You're not putting makeup on a 12 year old. Ain't no mm-hmm. bundles. Ain't no none of that shit. That's culturally. Mm-hmm. Now, that yeah. is not the case. It, True it enough. Is, it's These not. little girls are growing up with bundles and extensions and makeup and all type of shit, and we dolling them up and hey. we're and we're dressing it up to be okay. It's, it's gotten yeah. worse. We had makeup when we were kids, but it's gotten it, worse. But it's that's what that's but that's what's going on. And so these little girls, they're putting on these tight ass clothes that these really. parents are saying it's okay. I'm telling you because I have a little, I have a 13 okay. year old, mm-hmm. and I'll be checking her about certain shit that she puts on because mm-hmm. she's built a certain type of way. Mm-hmm. So I'm not just speaking this. I'm 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 living this. Yeah. But some of these yeah. niggas, you don't. The, some of these girls don't have to have none of that shit on. They can wear baggy pants if it's naturally in you to want Thank some you. young shit. Thank you. It ain't an outfit, Thank a you. makeup, Thank a Maybelline, you. a yeah. mascara, a, a foundation. A fucking nothing that's gonna stop him from wanting what he wants. No, that is a true. A man can like a woman that wears saying, all of that, but if why? he sees a, a younger girl that's fuck? wearing that stuff, he gonna be automatic like, girl, man, take that stuff off your face, get that off your body. What's up, Chuck? Talking to the mic. No, I was just, I was put my hand up, letting her finish her point. Oh, okay. I wanted to say something. Uh, I guess with what he's saying, if if the man's gonna be the man, I think we should go all in on empowering girls to speak out, to post that shit on social media when they fucking, yeah. when somebody approaches them or something like and that. And it's real hard for uh, women we need to, to accept talk that. about that We need to, to put, to, to make them feel like they're able to tell publicly about that shit. And then maybe that'll help curve it. Mm-hmm. Some. Make it cool some type of way, I guess. But I'm not saying make it cool, but like, I'm just saying like, as far as the courage to, Speak right, out, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, to bring it to the forefront. Yeah. So and ex support when they do instead of you know making a mess. Mm-hmm. Ex pastor Leo Ivan Smith and Mister uh, Brave Nate, Freaky Nasty Nate, <laughs> Nasty Nate, you need chill, Nasty Nate. You niggas are the official want want for the day. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Can I just say flush. one more thing before we move on? Oh, yeah. Kick they back in. Also, too, I'm sick and tired of seeing these posts from some of y'all people on Facebook talking about well, she was uh that, that kid knew what she was doing. She was a fucking kid. A kid right? Of course, a kid, right. they go into a candy store, of course they gonna want some candy. Of course, this child, you could tell, I don't know about y'all. She looked like she she don't come from nothing. So this grown <laughs> man talking about he gonna buy her stuff, do all this type of that type of shit. It, 
of course that little girl probably gonna take advantage of it. She's a kid. <laughs> Duh, <coughs> but that does not make it right. Don't blame no dog on child. She don't have the mental capacity like an adult. If and majority a, of the time when that stuff happens, they grow up like regretting that 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 shit that happened in their life. All right, all right. Actual, so. actual factuals. All right, so our boy Trump is wild wilding again, what? going rampant. <laughs> Let me tell you what he says. <laughs> Let me he, tell you what he says. Everything. <laughs> he about to tell you what we looking for in life. Trump knows all, y'all. Donnie T, talk to me. <laughs> Would you rather have the black president or the white president who got $1.7 off the price? I think they want the white guy right now. I think they want the white guy. It's crazy work. <laughs> Show of hands, they want the white guy. All right, just... Only white guy we want around this motherfucker is Chuck. You hear me? <laughs> but ben I'm to Franklin pick, to, to do too. You know but to piggyback oh, off of that, I'm not a Trump supporter, but to piggyback off of that, the beginning of what he was saying about that is that basically a black president don't, doesn't get respect as much because he's black versus a white president. We only president. had one black president for you. How can you say that? And that's factual. Only had what he was trying to say in the black beginning. How can office? he not say that? Niggas ain't getting no respect around this motherfucker. He bro. was saying, like, basically, he who was didn't able... respect Barack Obama? I'm just saying. Me too. Who didn't respect Barack Obama? I'm not saying he was Barack basically saying he was respected. able to get all that. So whatever one point, whatever he was saying, because in business, there that other countries or whatever is they rather respect and do business with a white person than a black. black no, that's a fact. That's what he was really saying before the, the clip led. Uh, you know. See, but trying to nobody want to do that business shit. with a black woman. He trying to get with the Russians, boy. I don't like the way he a said that. A black person, if you ask me, or a black man for that matter. Mm -hmm. I don't like the way he said it though. And it, as, 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 as fucked up as it is, though, it's it's it's, it's a stigma. So it's always like one yeah. bad apple spoils the bunch, right? You know what I'm saying? And a lot of black motherfuckers ain't got no business savvy. They ain't got so I wouldn't do that by right. I probably wouldn't do business with a black motherfucker neither. He was also trying to say I ain't saying that I wouldn't. Nah, I get what you're saying. But I could the, just on imagine, account of, like, but uh, but what they teaching the foreigners before they come over here, like you know what I mean about the culture. You know what I mean, like oh, man. as far as history goes and shit like that. Like we we always been at the <coughs> at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like his real point, he really was saying too. Like shoot, if y'all ain't gonna want a black person, y'all really ain't gonna want to black woman to run that country too that's what he was really getting at they a highlight woman. the bad and you know what i'm saying and take away the good bury this this shit. nigga actually came out the other day to 50 cents mini man yeah. that's what i was about to get to <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't blurred out <laughs> niggas wish death upon me are you hearing it like i'm like what you're stepping on my segways. I'm sorry. <laughs> if it's in the topic group, don't bring it up until I bring I'm it up. I'm sorry. Bro. It was right there. <sighs> I'm like, what the f of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Murder, 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 and niggas trying to take my life away. <laughs> but this you is want a black want. person or you want a white person? And then came out to the most niggerish song you could play after being shot at. Hey man, mm -hmm. but this who you want? This, this who you want in president? Though? No, this is why I respect him, man. <laughs> You this is why I respect him, bro. Oh, Fuck shit. Hell no. Thank Hold you. on. ISO on, ISO on Arco. Excuse uh, Go ahead. I mean, tell us more. Because, bro, I will. So, is, bro, think about it this way, bro. This, this ain't no motherfucking fairy tale land, all right? This ain't cookies and bubbles, bro. This ain't all. Of, you know what I'm saying? We can take a stand and you know what I'm saying? We gonna get ours. Like, come on, bro. We've been going through this shit for how long? You feel me? And it's actually getting worse. Way worse. You know what I'm saying? I don't see shit getting better for our people. You know what I'm saying? Now, everybody sitting up there talking about the fact that, oh, he don't really, you know what I'm saying? It. We haven't really given, you know what I'm saying, nobody the reason you know what I'm saying? Um, politically 
in that in the in the in the sense <coughs> besides Barack Obama to respect us. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Since Martin Luther King or some shit. Like it ain't really no. It ain't too much out there. What you got? You get you got a few Democrats. You know what I'm saying? That's really speaking out for us. You know what I mean? But it ain't really like somebody that's really going to really talk to somebody uh to to that's in power to change things you know what i'm saying like think about who's really in power to change shit and do shit you know what i mean so like it's, i'm gonna ask you this question then what do you mean by empower and change because everything is it, it can be a change but it, it, it's either going to be for the better or the, or against it right, and exactly. uh, so point, so with trump you right it'll be changed but it's gonna be detrimental. It ain't. All right, so if you ask me, it ain't gonna be nothing that's gonna put us all in a position that's gonna you gonna be like, okay, I'm comfortable with this. I think it's gonna you gonna. I are think you this, comfortable now, nigga? I was never comfortable to begin yeah, with. Exactly. That's my you, point. You know, so, you asked him a question that you didn't give him a chance to answer. You said, "My question is this: What do you consider?" Yeah, because he and he responded, and I and it, that's how the he did he didn't know. answer the question, but he said something that took it. So repeat long. the question again. What do you consider to be change or empowerment? Because I want it, because it like again, Trump. Everybody keep looking for equal, equal this and equal that, and it, shit ain't never been equal for us, bro. Like, correct. We always been taking our circumstances and and making the best out of every fucking situation <laughs> there is. You understand? So it's not like we going to get a black president and everything is going to fucking change and everything is going to be, you know what I'm saying? All great for us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it ain't about whatever. You know what I'm saying? We still going to have problems getting loans. We still going to, you know what I'm saying? Have a, a stigma as you called it. You know what I'm saying? Everything is still going to be there, bro. Like it's just all about, so, uh, so you I, making life better for you, bro? Fuck that political. So shit. okay, like, but the, but this is the, this the whole thing though. That's what it is. It ain't even it's, it, with the politics they play. They they play on they play on your feelings. They play on your belief system. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like this man, like if like if you don't really think that this man is doing everything in his power just to grab a vote. This yeah. he don't. This man don't go to church. This is pandering. But whatever. this man, but he but he's saying and he he's saying whatever. So how can I just believe anybody that's going around just saying whatever to but try and get like, me to? And he's not—he doesn't have okay. nothing behind it. I'll accept him saying that versus bringing out Megan The Stallion to come out and twerk for us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To catch everybody's attention, uh, Mr. Biden or Kamala Harris, excuse me. Like, what? I mean, it was. I mean, as far it as came the, out to Fifty Cent, any the, man. It, hey. <laughs> It's pandering and trolling at the what's, same what's, time. Yeah, what's like, better though? Like, let back. me say it's a lesson for what, two evils, but I'm just looking at what you're gonna benefit at the end of the day. At least, at least give it to me straight and don't try to mesmerize me with some ass. You feel me? Like, but that's what I'm saying. You, you, you keep the bringing up the fact of what he's saying to your face. Your ass. You All right, keep hold on, wait. It's time to pass the ball to somebody else, y'all. This is what I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna pass it to Beezy because Beezy ain't got been able to put a word in on this yet. What I, you said that what you respect about him, what I'll say is for everything that he do that I could respect him for is five things that he does that I can't respect him for. Dude is a piece of shit. Like there ain't no way, way around running, it. Man. That's it. And because he good at business, but, that don't mean he's good at being a person. He's not, not good at yeah, business. And, that, that part. And like, he he's not a good person. <laughs> but hold on, wait, listen though. He <laughs> doesn't have nobody's best interest for nobody. But he is. No, and he's not a good businessman. I gotta look that up. He what type of president talks and gets hundreds of people to storm a, a government official building? Mm -hmm. Tells him that he'd go with them and then just doesn't go with them even. Yep. I'll, I'll be with you every step of the way. He did, didn't he? He, he did. He told him TV. that. He ain't saying no regards out to, again, to the people's families that died. Like, he showed no remorse for nothing, and that's what I'm saying. You keep saying what the fact that he's told you he don't give a fuck about you and he don't like you, you respect that, but look what you're losing if he becomes an office. Look what comes with it. That makes no sense. You can you can respect a nigga that say fuck you, but you're going to put him in a position to where he, you, all, you're, you're going to lose. Doing anyway. All right, so, that's all they doing so anyway. Here's, here's my thing. It seems you kind of have a, a favor as in Kamala over Trump, right? I'm looking at all I, and in regard to. I just want to know a yes or no question. Yes. All right. 
Name do three to, things do to, that you think she's going to actually fix or help when she gets in office. She ain't go, she ain't going to uh, uh Obama uh uh Obamacare. People's still going to get them food stamps that people still be trying to go and find, they're going to still get them. But why you Trump think that's to, a good thing? Trump though? taking them because well, people why fucked up. Why is it up. so good for our people to be on food I'm stamps? Not, hold on, time out. I never said that. It, we're not. We, that is something that we're not even talking about. I never I said know. it was okay for people to get food stamps. Okay. I, would rather for, I would rather the world be able to have the money to be able to afford whatever lifestyle that they want. The point but that that's not the in, yeah. But that's not the point. The point that's you not, bring in food stamps fact, is like your argument towards no, why my should point be good is, for my office point, stuff. My point is when Trump is in office, he's taking away Obama care anything any government assistance that you or your family may be getting you are not going to get so again project 2025 if you haven't watched it you haven't read it read it because when this because they're tying it to him mm-hmm. so when yeah. he gets in office what you get Look and what up. your family is awarded you're not going to get that no more so fuck trump fuck kamala but i look at what's coming with them and at the long haul, for four years, I know that's going to be a lot of fucked up shit that people are going to have to endure because once he's in office, you cannot get him the fuck All right, out. So let me ask you this, bro. How do we not know that Project 2025 ain't getting villainized by the other side so you won't vote for them? Okay, so guess what? We're here to find out. And somebody going to be like, goddamn. I mean... So at the end of the day, we either, if I'm wrong and you right, I'm gonna be like shit. I was wrong in the mo- and I'm gonna be stuck with the decisions I made and stuck with the rules and bylaws, whatever the fuck that come with it. See, here's okay. Here's the problem with all of this. Why do you feel like you could trust her more than Trump? They're both politicians. I don't trust that you missing what I'm saying. Let me say something. I don't give a fuck about neither one something. of them. Let me. I, I get what mm-hmm. he's saying. The politics, both sides, Democrats, Republicans, they full of shit. But if you got to go with a lesser evil or something or whatever, then I'm going to... Do we? That's what he's saying. But wait, let me just say... Independent? Let me just say this. Ain't nobody talking about how Trump was just also on the stage talking about how he's going to give police immunity. For shooting that black lady, bro. We just talked about this last week. Like, y'all not hearing the shit that comes out of his mouth? And no, he's not a good businessman. Look up his businesses. He has gotten bankrupt uh, and, and went to court to also, man... Trump is no. He's All not right. a good let me Let me get the pot back and stir it real quick. So I don't think we should vote for either one of them. Like, let's say since Al Gore versus George Bush, we've been voting for the lesser of two evils, and we still don't get who we want, even in that one. Like, he used some type of fucking loophole to make sure they didn't recount the ballots in Florida. George Bush was never supposed to win. We didn't want him to win. So, like, why do we keep just choosing the lesser two evils? Why do we keep playing into that game? What can we do to make our own change in the country? What can we do to get vote somebody locally. more progressive? Quit voting. Vote locally. No. Learn your, learn your laws. Learn, learn, what, learn, learn, learn what you can do as a citizen yourself because a lot of us don't know our own rights. Take your ass downtown. We don't know what we That's can true. do or what we can't do. Go down That's there true. to the hall downtown. It's a, lot of, it, it's a lot of shit that they tell you that you got to do and you ain't got to do that. But because we've been brainwashed to believe this or we they got us scared to even go and try and research and find out, we think certain shit is until it ain't. All right. That's that on that. <laughs> yeah. Real quick. No, that's no, that on, on that. On. The independent That's that on, on the, that. The independent on that on the ballot is a Kennedy. That's, Nobody didn't know that. I knew, I knew that. <laughs> so All listen, right, okay. while we was talking about Donald Trump coming out to 50 Cent Mini Men to go on to lighter news. And to bring it back towards the O a little bit, it says that Dave Chappelle sells out hometown Ohio show with hip hop legend 50 Cent. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Dave Chappelle officially sold out his final hometown show with musical guest 50 Cent. The show in Chappelle's hometown of Yellow Springs, Ohio, was the final of the comedian's homecoming shows that begin at the beginning of July. I didn't even know these existed. It's part of Chappelle's soundcheck series, which feature our prominent or local artists like musicians. Chappelle has a strict no cell phone policy at his shows, and this one is no different. Phones must be secure in a locked pouch, and guests must leave the building if they need to access their devices any guest caught using their phone within the show will be immediately ejected according to the <laughs> event info i can I'm fix this show brandy can i read please boy y'all. stop acting like that no, come on we right, talking come quit on. talking into the oh. mic y'all 
The show will be at the firehouse in Yellow Springs, also known as the YS firehouse firehouse. The building is owned and operated by Chappelle who inverted it from an old firehouse in 2021. Now the restaurant and comedy club hybrid serves as his go-to venue in his hometown. Okay. Then okay. Then again, I'm sorry that I didn't even know that this shit was even happening. Cause I fuck with Dave and fit and I fuck with fifth. So that'd have been something, and that's right up the highway, nigga. Real goat shit, like for real. I'm just ready to move to Yellow Springs, man. man. He got that motherfucker jumping, and man. he ain't allowing Section Eight up there. He got that motherfucker jumping. He said, "You bring Section Eight up here, I'm pulling out all my money and my investments." Because we all know what Section Eight brings. Yeah. Who red, who red, baby mama? A bunch of sexy reds. <laughs> I'm sorry, because I would love to see that. <coughs> 50 Cent ain't put out nothing musically in a while. I can yeah. say that I'm a fan of. Mm. But if he going to be up there playing his motherfucking Classic. greatest hits. I'm old enough to enjoy that thoroughly. Yeah, for real, though. Too bad. We're late. I literally watched that nigga's whole career. Run that like who done that. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy for Dave though, man. Shit, he got his he got a nice little time. setup. You know what I mean? How long has it been since okay. Sha- Dave Chappelle came back from uh, Africa? Because <coughs> he was gone for a Check, minute. Can you help then us it out seemed that? like when he came back, it was he a been back for a minute tour. though. I think it was hmm. like 16 that he came back. I'm gonna mm-hmm. look it up. Because dude ain't stopped yet since yeah, he's he came back. He's been on a roll. Mm-hmm. Netflix treated him well, and he just been steamrolling after that. Yeah, yeah. One of them Netflix specials wasn't funny, but I don't think it was intended to be funny. Nah, it was like to to like it 2013. was Twenty thirteen. You probably talking about that Mark Twain prize? I Is think that that's what it's called. Yeah. It, yeah. Where it's like a small stage. Mm-hmm. It ain't too. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that's like a Mark a, Twain. I don't know if I want to see Thomas Dave Chappelle prize. in that setting though. Yeah. I mean, it's, I'm not too fond of a stand-up period, so it's just like... Huh? Oh, wait. You're not too fond of Dave's stand-up? Yeah. Oh. That, cause he really only got, like, one or two that I like. Uh, Killing me softly. Out of, like, what, like, six or seven, maybe? Seriously? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Dave. Yeah. I, I fucks lie. with him though. I fucks with Dave. I, kinda, I fucks with all his movies. <coughs> I fuck, stand I, up. I ain't gonna lie. I, I kind of fuck more with the, his skits and shit more than I do his stand up. Yeah, Chappelle but show. The Chappelle fire. show, fire, fire. But him standing there, because he has he 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 at times has a dry sense of humor. And you think so? At times, it, at times, yeah. I'll be like, I mean, that's. What I think I don't his like comedy is more complex. It's not the straightforward, yeah. out there joke. He'll say some shit that lines up. Yeah, it's and, a cadence. And the punchline. Sometimes yeah. the punchline don't even come till the very yep. end of the show before right. he walk off. You yep. feel me? <clears throat> you just got to like really listen to him. And I mean, I guess the, I the style well, is like a music style like some people like a jay-z it's not for everybody dude is damn near like for, jay- no for jay-z sure yeah. comedy yeah, yeah picasso i get it mm, that was good i think chris rock do it better though no <laughs> now that's a nigga no. that I, stand up wise i, I think no. he should yeah, yeah. he my, no. he like a dl hughley yeah <laughs> yeah. He ain't that bad. Man, DL is trash. He better than I Dave. was. I was mad that he no, and, no hey, not at all. What? Stand up, no, what? Sir. DL better than Dave. No, right? hell no, nah. hell no, nah. hell, 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 hell no. Nah. Nah. Hey. I was, I was so mad that they he even made kings of comedy, nigga. I'm Man, like, how, how the he fuck didn't belong up he there, did not bro. Believe. He got washed up there. Man, come on, bro. He did not belong up there, bro. How the host. Cook you. Yeah, bro. No, Steve heard. Harvey should have had this slot. I ain't gonna bro. lie. You right about the Kings of Comedy Park. My nigga didn't belong there, bro. The L banger. It should have been nah, Will. It should have been on, Martin. You was wrong on two He could have had Arthur. Eddie I'm up sorry. that motherfucker. Hell, nah. But he put DL. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Hell no. Nah. Stand up wise, he better than He'll Eddie, get bro. fucking cooked. They should have put Eddie Griffin up there. <laughs> Kings of, I'd have took that. Eddie Griffin. Yeah. I, I would have took that. That nigga, Eddie. And he will. Can you imagine an Eddie Griffin, Bernie Mac? That T- what? Comedy tour? Yeah. Oh, my God. Only in heaven now. <laughs> yeah, I watched Mr. 3000 yesterday. Bernie. Rest in peace, Bernie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mr. 3000, that's that shit. 
Damn, yeah, I'm sorry about the Dave shit, though. I'm the thing yeah. about Dave Chappelle's stand-up, I saw him out in Yellow Springs one time, and uh, when he came out, he said he, he really wasn't feeling it. He said that he wasn't really going to tell jokes. He was just going to stand up there and talk, pretty much telling us we wasn't going to enjoy the show, and then said, but I'm the GOAT, and you guys are going to leave here happy. And then an hour later, we were laughing the whole time. He didn't really tell jokes. He just told stories the whole time. But he is the absolute mm-hmm. best crowd control that I've ever seen in music, any or stand up, mm-hmm. any kind of performance. It's just it's Second what he it's like what he was meant to do. It that's how it comes off. Like he was meant to speak to people. Y'all know the funniest nigga I know that's funny like that. My nigga B. Bruh. Dude is naturally hilarious. Like he, he don't even be trying, and he just <laughs> I have real life have you in tears. <laughs> no cat. So listen, Illinois sheriff speaks for the first time since his former deputy fatally shot Sonya Massey. <coughs> Hold on, let me say. Let me say. I'm gonna say something right now that I've never said in my career before. We failed. We did not do our jobs. Have you ever heard a police officer take self accountability for some shit? <coughs> no, no, never. No. Me but, neither. But I he can't wasn't remember. the one that did it, though. I know, but you know how, like, uh, how they say popper if paparazzi do something, it ain't the paparazzi that make the headlines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And regardless, it's his goddamn police force, so he got to mm-hmm. speak up for it. Mm-hmm. It happened on his watch type shit. Mm-hmm. I mean. I'm pretty sure the person that did it would say it, but it wouldn't mean shit, would it? No shit you did. You failed at your job. Probably, yeah. Yeah. If she got a nine to five, nigga, you technically work for her. <laughs> technically. Taxpayer. Yeah. Type shit. Public servant. That's crazy. You kill a motherfucker that pay your check. And this the lady that that wild. got shot for saying I rebuke you, right? Yeah, correct, sir. Mm-hmm. Just making sure I. Yeah. And that's who Trump talking about. He would immune out of prison. He would give them immunity. So it says Sangamon County Sheriff Jack Campbell has yeah. spoken on the fatal shooting of Sonya Massey, which occurred at the hands of his ex deputy Sean Grayson. Yeah. Additionally, the sheriff has addressed calls from the community and Massey's father to resign from his position. Click the link in our bio. Yeah, that shit. So he's stepping down? <coughs> I, yeah, I mean, because he gave him a job and then he fired him. Mm-hmm. And so I don't know. I don't know why he would step down, but maybe it's about to be a crazy fire trail that goes with it. Mm. Like Once they get the magnifying glass out, it's mm. going to be a... a like a lot of people in charge because they probably swept what he was doing under the rug. Like not, a lot more of this shit about uh, to come out. Uh, not uh-huh. to mention, remember last week y'all said that the man been fired six times. Yeah, for sure. So yeah. now it's That's like, a good and, and, and and I don't know if y'all remember, uh, um, just not too long ago, it was a police officer that was in Boston or some shit like that, and they uh, 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 Baltimore. Uh, uh, the young man was his name was Gray. He died. He died in the back of the police truck or some shit. Mm. Um, uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That happened a couple years uh, <laughs> around the time that Trayvon got killed, I think. Mm. But anyway, one of the police officers got fired or some shit and went to Maryland mm. and was able to become a police officer. Yeah, yeah that's that's how they and there, rebrand. and there they committed another racial. Uh, or <clears throat> police brutality against, you know what I'm saying, civilian or uh, um, black. Baltimore. And, and, and Maryland. Mm-hmm. They left Baltimore okay. and oh. was in Maryland. Okay. So this is something that happens on a regular, <sighs> apparently, because this is not the first time that, I'm, you know what I'm saying, I know about this, and I'm sure this ain't the first time anybody else has, but the fact that he's been fired six times, how the fuck is it he keeps being able to patrol and get a gun and to do anything? Mm-hmm. Like, That's that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. This know. motherfucker should be... Uh, Sir, you've been here parked too long on your. If you're gonna do anything, that we nigga, have a whistle. No, blow that nigga should be like, "Welcome to Walmart." That part, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Wild. It's wild that you get six jobs. Yeah. Like that. Mm-hmm. 
Agreed. The shit that motherfuckers Six get away times, with. Though. For real, man. It's wild. Um, so did y'all see my late entry while we on police brutality and shit? Nah. The shit yeah. that police do. Yeah. So it says LAPD officer removed from field duties after video shows him punching a handcuff man during a recent arrest. <coughs> I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you what I but thought about I when I said it. Oh! Wow. He just sucked him. Just listen to this. You got. Hey. You threw this out there. I'm finna sue. I'm finna sue. Call your supervisor. Now. Call your supervisor. And when they say that, you gotta call him. Yeah, you gotta call him. Yeah, you do. 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 Yeah, you that padded book. Yeah, I heard he said, we coming for you, nigga. He said, ah, I just <laughs> fucked up that <didn't> night. Damn. <laughs> yeah. The black cop was probably looking at him like, you fucking right, you just fucked up. Like, yeah, nigga. You... And imagine the position he in, though. Like, he probably... Who, the, the black cop? Black when cop, still yeah. on dude, too. Like, he at work. And this yeah, the man. thing as a black person, because you Fuck know whenever you're, you're supposed to be a police officer, you're supposed to have, like, you know... My partner, you yeah, damn near yeah. like a gang. They're, yeah. they're we a true gang. We're, we're true and yeah. blue. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> big C's, nigga. Big C's. The, the, big C's. Big C's. <laughs> the biggest, nigga. But, so just imagine yeah. as somebody that has to feel like, and ain't no telling how long he done worked with these people. He done probably built a real buddy buddy rush hour relationship with this white man. Mm-hmm. So you supposed to be those are my brothers, but then he just really in front of you in real time mm-hmm. punched a brother. Mm-hmm. What that like in that position? Do you feel like you stick with the police or no, do you? I'd have lost my job. Nah, I ain't That's even about up. to do that. But I'm about to say, oh yeah, you gotta go sit the fuck down in your car. Like, he bro, did it, <laughs> bro. Like, look, and this is the, 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 re, the reason why I say that. <laughs> Is because you got to put yourself really, like, really in the mind. That's a hostile situation. A drilling in this Russian. You feel what I'm saying? Nah. If I, like, you he tell you. He was in cuffs. He was in cuffs. Yeah, dude, he was in cuffs. Dude, it's a hostile situation. When you look at that video, everybody's loud. They already roughhousing dude with him being in cuffs. Mm-hmm. It's a hostile situation. It, the emotions is high. So you tell him, go and sit down. He ain't hearing you. He probably gonna snap on you. Get the fuck away from here. Then you PC me. I got this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now you gotta yeah. PC me personally. Up. If I would have yeah. saw that, it's, it's automatic reaction. I'm gonna snatch his ass up, man. We tripping. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll say that because at the end of the day, I I, at the end of the day, right? I'm posed. I'm. I'm. I'm I took an oath, mm-hmm. right? And this is a civilian. He's hit. He's already sustained. He's already. He's already handcuffed. So that was not necessary. Mm-hmm. I asked you what I do, and you hit me in my mouth like you, my mama. You know how? Have you ever yeah. been in that situation with a parent where you be like, uh-huh. "I ain't do nothing," <laughs> straight like that, mm-hmm. right in your motherfucking yep. mouth, though, right on it. You ain't what? Oh my lord! And I think the issue when it comes to the police is we get is we get instances like this to where the situation happens, and then a motherfucker talk about some shit afterwards about trying to prevent some shit like that to whereas I think the narrative will help change if we start seeing people in real time Mm. checking that shit that's in badges Mm. don't wait until it's after over with to give an interview talking about yeah we uh uh, we're 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 gonna handle it and we're gonna do it no 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 no. fuck all that we want to see you handle that shit Mm -hmm. well Brad knew he was fucked you know I mean he (laughs) he, he, but I I want you to know you fucked you double fucked around here just like Cause I'm not standing for that. Just because I got on a badge, I'm saying let the community know. Hey, we yeah, got like we I ain't going for we this. Did something about this. Or because at the end of the day, we gonna still here, have this. Like, we gonna still have this. Like I don't fuck with the police. So until we start seeing motherfuckers actually start doing shit when shit is in real time like that, it ain't gonna make sense to us. Hey, or be aware of this cop. Yeah, they should. That's a good idea. They should do the motherfuckers like they do the sexual predators. Like. You know what I'm saying? Be aware Make them niggas cop, wear a different you know colored shirt. Type shit. Yeah. Now, what if they would have been like, all right, what if the sheriff would have pulled up and would have been like, so listen, this is what we're going to do. You can put <laughs> us in a bad spot. We can either take your badge and your gun and all that shit, or you could put your gun and your badge down. 
we could take him out of these handcuffs. Oh Lord! Mm. And you and this big catch the face. You and this big nigga <laughs> throw them oh, hands. Lord. Because you punched him dead in his mouth while he had no right or no way <laughs> to no defend defense. himself. Yeah, yeah. And he ain't do nothing. But that's fucked yeah. up. You're sitting there asking, what did I do? Shut up. You breathing. Right. I hate your lips because <laughs> they black. black. <laughs> I hate my gums because they boy. black. Like for real. Yeah. That's I, fucked up. So that's, you know, that, that's, it's, it, that shit crazy. It's, it's crazy. That shit crazy. But that's what I said last week. All this shit keep happening, bro. It's going to pop. Certain mm-hmm. something's going to snap. So to where motherfuckers mm-hmm. is going to be like, bro, enough is enough. Mm-hmm. You think like Civil War? Bro, I, it's, it's in, no. it's, I think it's going to come. You mean like Spider-Man and them? Or you mean nah, like, like. Not that far. Us versus talking, the cops. I know. I'm talking I think shit. it's going to come down not to some that shit far. like Civilians that, versus cops. Mm-hmm. For real, bro. It's going to come down to some shit like that, bro. Are you ready? Yeah, think so? Yeah, because, bro, for one, guns is a rat. Bro, stop. I don't give a fuck about how many of us got guns. Where's the unity, my nigga? That's right. what I'm trying to tell you. The, the, the ones that is policing is going to be us, and it's not going to be them. So it's going to be us against them. What are you talking Man, about? Bro, nobody's going to sign up to go to war with the police. What are you talking It's more about? of us than it is them. I mean, it was more of us than it was them. A thousand uh, years ago, and too. you got oh, a different, yeah. and you got a different set of mindsets well, running around here right years. now. You, you, you're sure. picking up For what sure. I'm putting down, yeah. but you got a different yeah. set of mindsets running around here right now. No, you don't. You got a bunch of fucking non-unity, <laughs> nigga. You know how nervous I get. I got license, <laughs> insurance, no drugs in the car. Yeah. I ain't swerved or nothing. But let the police turn behind me off a of side street. I'm going to jail. I feel <laughs> nervous as shit, bro. Mm-hmm. How you feel? Yeah. And what, and how you feel and standing up and doing something is two different things, brother. What I'm saying is, if the police make you nervous just to get behind you, think of how many people that's going to automatically think, let me stand down to the police. Everybody ain't on that. Yeah, that's the problem. And that's why we are never fucking getting over it. Facts. This is going to be a revolving conversation because you weak-ass motherfuckers don't want to do nothing. And you're right. That's why we going to leave it right here. <laughs> that on that. Y'all ever watch Doug? Yeah. yeah. Y'all know who Mr. Dink is? Yes. Yeah. The scientist from next door. Mm-hmm. I always created shit. And, uh, very expensive. <laughs> I feel like Elon Musk is the living embodiment of Mr. Dink. If Mr. Dink had a lot of money, he would be Elon Musk. It says Elon yeah. Musk has his oh, own roads underground because he was tired of traffic and humans. He sounded like a fucking android. He was tired of humans. He sounded like Vegeta. I think. <laughs> Listen to this. Hold on. Let me see if I get some volume going. I apologize, Man. black people and Chuck. That illegal ass shit he got going on. <laughs> Good news radio. Boy, this nigga Elon Musk got too much power and money. Man, y'all come look at this. We're going to talk about it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. After we get around the corner. This isn't just any tunnel. We can go to own road, y'all. We'll take it easy for you. We got his own road. It's Elon Musk tunnel. And to understand why we're speeding through it, you need to go back a couple of years when he decided he had had enough of Los Angeles traffic gridlock. Either we try something new, or we will be stuck in traffic hell for the rest of our lives. I, I still think, well, maybe this could be underground. This is the underground network he envisions. Electric cars using street-level elevators to drop down into a series of tunnels. What? Autonomous technology in the cars ensure that they don't run into each other, despite going speeds over 125 <sighs> miles an hour. Tunnels are, the, in my view, the only solution to urban congestion because we have a 2D road network and we have buildings in 3D. Like, and everyone wants to pile out of those buildings and Bruh, let's buildings at the same go time. talk about this. Obviously, you're going to have a traffic jam. Boy, that nigga got his own roads, bro. Are y'all serious right now, man? That is one man with too much power. So they're going to act like El Chapo ain't had nothing to do with this? El Chapo <laughs> wasn't going at 120 miles per hour with high tech tight. Yeah. He started now. He started the foundation. He started the foundation. <laughs> I think the nigga started the foundation of this, yes. if you ask me. Man. Underground road. road. <laughs> oh, no. Type shit. Oh, type <laughs> shit. <laughs> but this is a wake up situation. So if people really don't think that these motherfuckers got shit going on, that 
It's, he showed you on a small they, they scale keep, of what they, they keep. They keep putting it in your face. Mm, 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 mm. They keep putting it in your face. So you think the government been doing that? Bro, they got 12 cities underground. Fuck is you talking about? Mm. Real live, bro. They got concentration camps around this motherfucker. Consecration camps around this motherfucker, bro. Consecration. Consecration. You know what I'm talking. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm a little slurred. Zod got me talking slurred. But real talk, bro. This is what we got going on amongst us, and we don't. And a lot of people don't even know this, but they he ain't lying. They, they put no, they put sure. it in your face, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Interesting fact: the movie. Uh, this shit is is it us? When it was under uh, the people was tethers underground. Yeah. That was actually an underground, yep, yeah. CIA, yep. CIA thing that they had underground. So shoot, and that's been there for years, like. Yep. But sis, think about how much of this shit is alien technology. They, I know that too. I don't. This motherfucker got shit like the bunkers on GTA. The way these ass. motherfuckers yep. is going underground and. And think about it, like they got shit paid, it, bro. It's route, and he got robots. When they see an intruder, they're like, come on, bro, this nigga is like, he's everything that a villain would be, except for they don't address him as the bad guy yet. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, he has too much money, too much power. He got his own too much leeway. route, bro. He this putting chips in people's brains. Neuralink. As soon as you don't pay for it, they're going to give you the ad. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, 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 Riley. <laughs> Shut it up. Auto <laughs> parts. In a minute, Ow. in a minute, they just gonna be blowing niggas' heads off like uh, uh old girl from uh Suicide. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, oh. just like it. Yep. Hey, how late is he? Three months. Beep, 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 beep. Type shit. Cherry pie. <laughs> they already the got the cars that's gonna repo themselves and oh, shit. Yeah. And they got the ones that'll move you into the right parking spot. It's uh-huh. only a amount of time. I was just in Circle K the other day. You know. That they, they people that sit behind the cash register, they don't even handle money anymore. Yeah. Like, they don't, there's no cash transactions between you and the person behind the register. You put it in the machine. Sure. Yep. I swear to God. They got a thing where you can sit the shit down. They got them at um, Sheets, too, where you can sit your shit on the thing and it automatically ring your items up. No oh, yeah, that's on the uh, the, the self-checkout spots. Mm-hmm. Boy, listen, and I'm just sitting there looking at this lady like, you don't even realize you're not even going to have a job. In about <laughs> year. Say, yeah, live it up while you Run can, Run these girl. checks up, man. And find you something Stack to it. do. Cashiers can't steal from the drawer no more. Yeah, no. They been, right. but they been talking about how AI was it's gonna take up. over like that. It's on the way. Next niggas ain't gonna be that's flipping what, the burgers for real. That's why it's hard for real. Main for the factory jobs and shit like that. All these machines and shit. Mm-hmm. Niggas ain't gonna pretty be pretty soon. Though. You already yeah. don't flip the burgers. <laughs> Oh yeah, McDonald's. you just that was, yeah, yeah, that's McDonald's. Press the motherfuckers. He said press them. Yeah. <laughs> nah, for real. Like a shirt. Like that's a shirt. Like, like a shirt. Like a shirt. Them one four patties. All right, I got you a question. Cook the uh, quarter pounders though. I got a question for y'all. I just want to know if y'all know this or not. <laughs> Do y'all know what artist coined the term goat? Yeah. I don't know why, but I feel like you know that. I, who who you think it is, sis? L. Cool J. Man, <laughs> our hip hop thesaurus <laughs> guy. <laughs> <damn it. laughs> I'm I did it. Google says otherwise. Yet yeah, Google's Ooh. lying. Who, who does Google with say? The backs with the Muhammad facts. Ali. Oh, That's what I was going to say. But the greatest of all time. He not Muhammad an artist, though. He's Ali. A he said artist. No, listen. He, artist. He, he coined the greatest of all time, but he didn't quote GOAT. It says in 1990, for publicity purposes, they started calling himself the GOAT, him and his team. What year? Camp in the 1990s. L. Cool J. Oh, what hmm. And when did L, when did, when did LL do it? Well, LL been rapping was, since 84. And then, and then the it swag. was used but by LL cool coin the term. When? I don't know exactly when. What'd you K. say? What'd you say, Chuck? After Ali made it up, LL Cool J made the song where he used it. Uh, so he got it from Muhammad Ali. Uh-huh. Ooh, there it is. Well, Brandy's right. Hey, you're compromising the integrity of the facts in the back. No, but I what I'm saying, no, <laughs> but what I asked is what artist coined it. Mm-hmm. 
and, and hip hop. Hey, I consider Muhammad Ali an artist of the fists. Oh, I see what you did there. I, I see what it. you did there. Because fighting in martial that arts part. is an art. Do we deserve it? Yeah. Muhammad Ali, man. We're going to let that lay. Right. So listen. Oh, shoot. What immediately tells you that a person wasn't raised right? How they speak to their mother? Mm. Man, I can't even say that now. That's so... Freaking crazy. But what if you don't have that to go off of? Like, what if you don't know about that? How they speak to they, um, how they address elders. Because, like, you know, you're supposed to respect your elders. And then when they don't, you know what I'm saying, when they get to act crazy, it's like, hold on now. I know I was cordial at first because, you know, I was taught, I was raised that way. Right. Mm-hmm. But. I could get on your old ass. I'm, if you I'm somebody's elder out. too hey, now. Yeah, nah, hey. like for real, like OG around this way, so nah. And that's just me though. Like everybody else could go around the room, but like, okay, so if you don't have that, to, it's however you treat like your OGs, I guess. Okay, I'm not mad at that answer. What about you, man? I'm still pondering. Really, <laughs> how, can, how can you really? You tell? trying to really get the identifier? How can you really tell. Yeah, and I got. Oh, what you say, it, bro? I, I've been thinking about this all day. Uh oh. Well, for a couple, well, not all day, but for a while though. Because uh, I, I said mannerisms, uh, how one, you know what I'm saying, uh, conduct themselves or whatever. But you got people who treat themselves a certain type of way, but be real assholes to other people. Right? You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Mm-hmm. So it's really hard to, it's so much, that's, a, that's broad. Mm hmm. It's so much that can fit up underneath that umbrella. I got it. Um, but yeah, I got it. Well, this is just one. How you behave at the dinner table. There you go. Mm. Mm. This nigga let it eat. That's, 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 <laughs> that off the rip. That that's just that's the closest thing I could find. Describe, ladies and gentlemen. You know, if you smacking, got your elbows oh on the God. table. If you scraping Please the fork with your that. teeth, <laughs> none if of you, that. Listen, you want, you hey, that's this? a good you one. No, that's a mouth. great one. That's a, yeah, that's show, a great one. Off the show, all that. Uh, that. You don't want that. You fit <laughs> what? I ain't gonna lie. That's damn near. Oh yeah, that's moving furniture. That's like the top one. What you think, sis? Your hygiene, how you, yeah, your hygiene, mm-hmm. how you take care of, you know, yourself, your house, all that type of stuff. And if you come yeah. in my house and don't fucking speak, yeah. Sure, <laughs> don't bring that, <laughs> hey. Hey, that little <laughs> she move, mama, If she don't speak, <laughs> mm-mm. That little your mama flu. didn't raise you right. When you come in my so house, that will fall on the mannerisms then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How, you know yeah, what manners. Period. Just overall manners in general, I guess. Yeah. But that's yes, what I'm saying. Because, like, yeah. but, they, but then it, because we got people who can say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, and all of that mm-hmm. shit, and be, and they fucked up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm Mean saying. poker like, face. Yeah, like it's like so it's it's like boy, how do you, you know really, better? Like, like how do you like, really yeah. de- determine that? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, because me and both my brothers was raised in the same house, and I know my mama taught us how to speak to older people, mm-hmm. how to carry yourself at the dinner mm-hmm. table, mm-hmm. you know what to do when you walk in somebody's house. Yep. Mm-hmm. All of that type of shit, but my brother James is still a piece of shit. Nah, piece of shit ass James. Piece of shit. Kick um, your back in, bitch. I got a question <laughs> oh, real quick before we get off. I was that. raised right. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So that's right. why I say when he say it's hard to say, I can agree because mm-hmm. everything that you taught at home don't necessarily mean you're gonna carry Translate it into, into life when you go out and you Facts. know because mm-hmm. like I always say, once life get up. I just like snatching him up because he the biggest nigga in the room. But once life, once life get a hold of you, know, you. <laughs> then he grab you like this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you know, once life get a hold of you, bro, it really ain't no telling how you gonna turn out. Life will turn you into a piece of shit. True enough. Hey, what is it called? The arc the, uh, to the story yep. before you turn into the villain? The enemy arc. What Tony Bella Stark Mark. say? Y'all see that? He about to be Doctor Doom. Aww. You you either New mad same time. You either die a hero or you live long enough to be the villain. Yeah. What about you, Chuck? What up? Hey, man. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> you, yeah. you, you asking me the, the same question you just went around with? Yeah. Mm-hmm. About yeah, like how you how you tell. What's some identifiers right? that you know somebody wouldn't raise right? Um, I think you can basically just go off of somebody's energy. Somebody that wasn't raised right is going to be real high strung and like not thinking straight all the time, react, reacting out of line to like stressful situations and shit, not being empathetic towards people that aren't in a good situation, like fuck them or something like that, you know? You got a good point because how many times you done heard a kid talk about a kid being, look at their shoes or he's dirty or he's something, something. And you got to tell that kid in that moment, like, yeah, you, you can't do that to them because people have this and they situations ain't like ours. And, it, and if you, if you don't never hear that and you grow up, you are right. Yeah. It, 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 it'll most definitely show. Like, damn, nobody taught you how to be empathetic. <laughs> it's crazy. Or, shit, you ain't never been through nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for Type sure. Shit. Like, or shut up, boy, before I take off them shoes and I go buy you some damn Spider-Mans type, from Walmart. Type, <laughs> don't be type talking shit. about him. On Earth. Type shit. My mom wearing size 14, shut up. They don't even make <laughs> Spider-Man that big. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid, man. I was talking about when he was little. <laughs> so, y'all know I've been on this Free Tory campaign for a couple years now, man. Free Tory. Free Canada, Tory. Canada. Free Canada. Tory. Free Tory. It says, wow, Tory Lane's driver finally provides witness statement. Claims Kelsey grabbed a gun and Tory tried to wrestle it from her when Meg was shot. But appeal court won't accept it as new evidence because Tory's legal team declined to call him as a witness during the shooting trial. Now, check this. I followed this whole trial. Like, I watched every day of this shit. Mm. What I remember is they couldn't find the driver. Mm-hmm. Like, he just went AWOL and there was no place. You see what I'm saying? I don't remember them saying Rock that Nation they hidden. tried to, they just declined him coming on the stand to testify. Rock Nation hit him. Somebody if you testify, you gonna die. Listen, I remember that. You 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 remember uh-huh. that? I remember yeah. That. So that sounds like a crock of shit. Like free tour. Oh gosh. He, he said he releasing music too. Of course. Said that they finally cracked the code to be able to give out that quality band lab on your phone. To be able to give. <laughs> he got a phone. Um, he got a phone. <laughs> he got a phone. <laughs> I'm <laughs> that nigga in that motherfucker like Canada <laughs> straight off his phone <laughs> sending them wave files straight to his western name yeah, wait put that sir. sauce on that shit let's drop let's get it it's yeah that's quality. unfortunate bro I will say it's good quality I hate the fact that it happened to him but it's just an example that you can't always win <laughs> see but not always winning and then going to jail behind a bitch shooting her friend yeah that was the setup. That shit crazy. Mm. I know. Mm. Remember, we was just talking about the one episode, how black men get on the great what shit. was in it for them, though? For who? Exactly. For who? The per- the people that hid the driver? Nah, the the, the one that got her toe blew off. In the, the <laughs> well, I believe, well, Kelsey tried to shoot her, and I feel like oh Tori God. tried to stop it. Yeah. And she just still ended up getting shot in her foot. Oh God! All but right, go. wasn't she twerking like a day after? She didn't lose no half a toe. Oh uh, nah, and it she hit had, her in her uh, heel. Didn't I was about to say she had fragments, uh, fragments and glass shattered in her she, fucking yeah, foot. She wanted her shit. She didn't really get no. She was not twerking the, the next few days after that happened. You sure? <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie. She was down there with the Meganese. Hey, I, I said, remember. Hey, I said, hey, no, bitch, she ain't she supposed not. to be hurt? I'm just <laughs> hey, saying. Hey, detective, you don't see this shit? <laughs> but. If it was, you know what I'm saying, like on some low ball shit, like what was, like I was saying, I was just saying, like what would be in it for them, like leading up to now, you know? Uh, I feel like they already proved that Megan Thee Stallion was a liar already. Mm-hmm. And if it would have came out, mm-mm, what? None. Oh, did they not? Hold on, wait, burst. no, I'm, I want, did they not come out to prove that she was a liar? They did prove that she was lying about being freaky. What the hell? I'm saying she lied about having relationships <laughs> with people. That's why I said being freaky. So she did lie about that, but man, so she's not credible. Shot. I ain't saying she didn't get shot. How she got shot? 
Yeah, that's what, I'm what I don't believe. But seeing that she loves lying in court about relationships doesn't that mean she's not credible? Because like, if you lied about that under oath, what else wouldn't you lie about? Well, or am I wrong? Let me ask you something. Mm. All right, me and the chick that you frequently be fucking around with, I will, will. <laughs> we wrestling over a gun, and you just mistakenly get shot in your foot in the midst of the tussle. Are you gonna spare me, your brother? Or are you going to spare this bitch that you frequently frequently be fucking? Oh, Who man. going to jail? Her. That's all I'm saying. Yes. If she had bitch, to choose between yeah, a bitch that's sorry. been her friend her whole I'm life sorry. and a nigga that both of them was just Reasons. fucking, yeah. who are you going to pick to send to prison? Easy choice. Even if I don't Hell fuck with nah. you no more. What? No. That, that dumb bitch going to choose that nigga and say what? fuck her That she's friend. frequently fucking? That, this and ain't no, fuck her no hardcore relationship. Those women will say fuck that bitch. So why didn't I she do it? that nigga. She so, actually did try to. She tried to say she uh, stepped on glass, remember? That sounded like she was trying to spare everybody. But I mean, she did. She actually did. And Lies then when she the, stepped on glass. And then when when the pressure came on her, Tori went to jail and Kelsey walked off free. They say he said dance, bitch. Now do you believe that too? <laughs> do you believe that? The, the, Brand, I saw on Brandy because I know you're not about to sit here and tell me you think he said that before he shot her, bro. Yeah. Dance, bitch. <laughs> Tori seemed like he a funny motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> That's something I say. <laughs> yeah, she don't believe that shit. She does not believe not that shit all. one bit. Not uh, Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm back. I, I was trying to figure out where I wanted to take this. Did y'all see Chris Brown get pulled onto the big ditty bed? <laughs> no, I did not. Yeah. You didn't? I'm sorry. You ain't been doing your research. I love Freaky that. Freaky ass nigga I, here, 69. I kind of like that big ass bed. This nigga. Oh, shit. Who the real freak yet? No. This nigga had a 50 foot bed. It was a, With a grown ass for, man dancing on Forced him up there to dance around. That was a backyard. And then he was trying to stay as far away from Diddy as humanly that, possible. Mm, 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 mm. That shit dope. Diddy liked to party. You got to tell him no. He said, where my blood is at? Hey, somebody <laughs> come, and look, come and look at this. Hey, but look, slime. When he first when he first pulled him up there, he looked over at his people like, bro, what this the ain't fuck? Yeah, this, okay. <laughs> this ain't P. This ain't P. I gotta watch it again because I thought for a minute he was like, I don't know. Oh, grab my arm. He Chris Brown. He damn he did him like this. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he oh yeah, did he definitely like, no, yeah. nigga, get up here. He definitely pulled him up. Chris, get up. <laughs> Get up, Chris! <laughs> uh, shit, Diddy. Hey, nah, but Diddy. Uh, did he do it? Man, what? Man. Speaking of Diddy, y'all see that shit that came out that they were saying Kim Porter said. Now you stepping that up. Bed, segways. That bed. That should be. Oh, illegal. My father, I was you trying to help you out. You, I don't. Hey, man, the king is back at the throne. <laughs> Listen here, Otis. The child play, <laughs> the child play is over. The big right. two is back where they supposed. Give me some, baby. I'm talking about us. God damn it. <laughs> so listen, it says. <laughs> yeah, God damn it, hey, David. <laughs> Whooping him. That's I why know. I keep hey, handing that motherfucker on over. He told me it was only gonna be one. Hey, I didn't roll that shit, man. I okay. Didn't roll that all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's all reel right. it back, y'all. It says. Y'all get up. Someone got Kim Porter's memoir to Radar Online. So many people try to dismiss that it, is, that it is a fake or a conspiracy theory. Well, Radar Online has the whole thing and has released some excerpts. I took my time to put them together for y'all, but yeah, Diddy Cook, what y'all think? She says, we were supposed to go out for dinner, but he was in a foul mood. Sean yelled, what the fuck? I would have to walk on eggshells as I came out of the bathroom, but I found him holding flowers, so I smiled. You brought me flowers? Shine yelled, no. So who the fuck are, so who the fuck are they from? He threw, hold on, he threw the attached card at me. I picked it up to read it. Shine, I, he slapped me so hard I hit the ground. Shine yelled, who the fuck were you with the other night? I looked down at the card that was lying next to me, and it read, the other night was amazing. We must do it again. Diddy picked up my coffee mug and slammed it against the wall. Coffee flew everywhere as he yelled, who the fuck this nigga think he is? It was just coffee with the producer. It was nothing. 
Sean exploded even more. He wants to put the move on my fucking family at the top of his lungs. My fucking family? He flipped the table over, breaking it. It was a heavy table, but Sean is stronger than he looks. I pleaded with... I, the fact that I got to keep calling this nigga Sean is really fucking with me. I pleaded with him, Sean, please. He yelled at me. What? I tried my best to calm him down. He probably didn't know. It didn't come up. You're publicly dating someone else. So I guess he was probably dating Cassie at the time. Mm -hmm. So he screamed at me, and it somehow seemed even more intense. So you didn't tell him to back off? And then out of nowhere, he hit me with a chair. I don't remember anything after that until I woke up in a hospital room. My arm was in a cast hanging from a sling. My face hurt. My eyebrow was in an immense pain, and, and so was my lip. As I came to, the first face I saw was the man that put me here. Sean asked with concern in his voice, how are you feeling? I responded, stay away from me. I don't know what came over me, he said. I was just so jealous. You know how I am. I'm sorry, baby. I promise I'll never put hands on you again. I swear. I've heard this song one too many times. They'll pity you that they'll pity you that they hit you in your head. Hold on, wait. They'll pity you that you hit your head. He was going to make me look crazy. They were going to believe him. He was a kingpin. The next six months helping me heal and working his way back into my life and into my bed. I was so I'm thinking this okay i was so damn stupid i don't want to say dick stupid but i don't think that's that and of course i wasn't cast for either movie from what i understand a producer died in pneumonia so she was out with a movie producer getting coffee and the next thing you know he died of pneumonia the gene deal dude that be doing a lot of interviews they used to do security for diddy mm -hmm. um i seen an interview a couple months ago where he said and the stuff that he did to Kim Porter that don't nobody talk about, he already suggested that he did something to Kim Porter to begin with. And I just think that that's crazy that they got a little mm -hmm. uh, a transcript from her book explaining how he did her. Mm. And Diddy is still living a luxurious life somewhere on an island. <coughs> Literally wild as shit. While all of this just unravels <coughs> unscathed. <coughs> what does Diddy have <coughs> on who? Because like at this rate, he and Jeffrey Epstein was hot. Like this thing of Diddy, like, huh? But he still ain't been in the mix. Bad, it don't matter. Bad, mm -hmm. bad boy. They ain't pulled this nigga in. He ain't want the. He ain't got a it's booking number. It. He doesn't have a motherfucking uh, mug shot. I wonder where Diddy's at. It's coming right now. Be patient. Because I haven't seen him anywhere. Mm. And he's had more than enough time to get on a plane and go to Russell I Simmons' house. He's been, helping him. He's been selling his yeah. houses. Somebody helping him. Yeah, he's planning. He's probably in the Elon Musk tunnel right now going 120 <laughs> miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I would be surprised. Damn, bro. If anybody would have the resources to use an Elon Musk tunnel, I would say Diddy. D no Diddy. Yeah, on everything. He might have something on that nigga. You never know what go on at that party. Hiding in plain sight. Freaky ass. He liked the party. You got to tell him no. <laughs> and yeah, the boy Diddy, he's just on a rampage because you know how we talked about all the different little actors and people that they he done had, the quote Diddler. unquote. Yeah, for sure. So actor Bryshear Gray, known as a Hakeem Lion for yeah. everybody that, that don't, don't remember. He was arrested in Florida for trespassing with a bond set at $150. I don't understand how you can go from <clears> being <throat> the the boy the boy scout like the <clears throat> I don't get how you can that far from grace. I just don't yeah. understand it. Like, <clears throat> even after Empire was over, I would expect him to land somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Let her clear her throat. <clears> throat> Allegedly. Alleged Jaguar Wright was saying like Did he? he was going over there with the Wades and the Smiths, Will and Jada and them allegedly. That's what Jaguar Wright said. Yeah, that's who was supposed to be. Will Smith was supposed to be his uh Yeah. Mm. She said the Wades too. Gabrielle and you know, they like to do freaky things. Wayne I mean, Wayne. Said one day they heard that that boy was running out uh the Wade's house. Or was he oh. the Smiths? Yeah. Oh. You look it up, it's on YouTube. Mm. I won't be surprised. Hollywood bro. is a crazy place. That's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, like, if you made sense, bro, like, he, 
If you look at all the Mm-mm-mm. people, like by now, bro, he the it something would have been shit. Just we ain't hearing nothing but just more shit. Mm-hmm. Not no, he needs to get over here. He's a flight risk. Take his passport. They ain't did none of that. This nigga is not on American soil. And all of this shit is going on. All these allegations, all this paperwork, all this court shit. Mm. Bro, I, I didn't been locked up, and I know the court process. Big ass. I, I mean, they they trust me. They quick to type that shit, sign and, and sign and push it. Let's not forget, Homeland Security was at bro house. It says he's just hanging out in Wyoming. See. Yeah, I think I, White water rafting pictures from TMZ. Yeah, I thought I just hmm. seen a video on, on uh, oh, the shade room. No. He got something. They found something in that raid. That's my guess. Hmm. Wyoming. Well, look. Uh, well, we'll follow this story yeah, no, man, and no give you updates Not as they real. break. I'm done. Thank you for the so, correction. One more topic. I'm tired of reading, though. But I feel like it's going to be a good one. And since my brother was the one that posted it, I'm going to let him walk it down. He said, this is a must-talk-about post. So there you go, my brother. All right, y'all. So this is, uh, I'm going to just read the story <clears throat> real quick. Bloomsfield Hills, uh, Mississippi. A routine trip to the Target store in Bloomfield Hills turned into a shocking scene of violence on Tuesday afternoon. Pauline Brown, a 70-year-old woman with multiple scler- uh, sclerosis, was attempting to park in a handicapped spot when a car driven by a 19-year-old Chad Bosnick sped around her and took the space. Bosnick and his 18-year-old brother, Samson, exited the vehicle and entered the store, leaving Brown enraged and determined to confront them. After waiting two hours for Bosnick bro- for the Bosnick brothers to finish their shopping, Brown approached Chad as they re- returned to their car as she asked... She asked if he was handicapped, and when he replied no, she retrieved a 22 caliber pistol and shot him twice in the knees. Samson screamed and ran back into the store for help. Um, hold on, y'all. The swear, all you had to do was swipe over. I don't know. Get the back up. Okay, here we go. After waiting two hours, uh, after waiting, oh, here we go. Samson screamed and ran back into the store for help. Brown then attempted to lead a scene in, ni- in her 1996 minivan, but Bloomfield Hill police arrived just as she was pulling out of the parking lot. Brown grabbed an AR-15 assault rifle from her, from her back seat and engaged in a shootout with the officers, hitting one in the shoulder and killing another before surrendering, and w- before surrendering when she ran out of bullets. Upon her arrest, police discovered Brown was wearing a bulletproof vest. When questioned about her actions, Brown expressed her frustration with white people, citing a recent news story about Sonya Massey as a trigger for her anger. She stated, I guess I was just in a bad mood. And when I saw the officers pull up, I figured they were they might try to murder me like they did her. And I wasn't about to let that happen. I'm tired of the police. I've been here 70 years. I'm, and I'm tired. That's all I have to say. In an unexpected revelation, <laughs> it was found that Brown is a former Marine with special operations training. She is currently being held without bond. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, wait. So, why isn't this all over the news? Oh, right. I can only find it on, like, daily, daily news and, like, you know, not yeah. trustworthy news sites, so I don't even know if this is a true story. I mean, if it landed on Dayton Daily News, we could pretty much trust no, it. No, 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 no. I'm talking like the satire pages and stuff. Ah, uh, okay, <laughs> got you. So it might not, not even Daily be an actual the actual page story. called Daily News. I'm about to say that story. I'm still looking, but but man, I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, we don't need no, if it is true, let's no just play what if. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, I was about to say hypothetically. Hypothetically, let's play what if. Go so ahead. This is what I'm gonna say because we we getting towards the end of it. Um, let's go off some short hypotheticals, and next week, if it's a real thing, then we can actually deep dive. 
Respectfully. All right. So, so hypothetically speaking, if this is real, you wouldn't typically see a lot of coverage on it because a, this will motivate other black people to be like, you know what? If they can do it, I can do it. And then you're going to have the Marshall fact that she Law. had a vest. It is premeditated. You already had a vest on. Yeah. Not you expecting some blowback. Well, after you, yeah, she riding. after she popped the kneecaps, it was like, okay. She riding with an AR-15, bro, first of all. So, yeah, she woke up, ate she some definitely Wheaties, and was like, yeah, but I'm fucking somebody <laughs> up. I'm on that today. Yeah, yep. I'm on that today. The first motherfucker tried me or... J- j- just in case an AR-15. Listen, she asked. She, <laughs> Damn. What got me she, was that's fair the fuck up. It was so gangster though. Hey, <laughs> are you handicapped? No. No. Wow. <laughs> <Bow. Bow. laughs> <laughs> she shot him twice in the you knee. Put the hey, you had to cap down, nigga. She waited what two hours? Two hours. She waited crazy. Now that That's makes it premeditated. Crazy. The fact that she For had sure. on a That's bulletproof vest crazy. doesn't make it premeditated. Like, lady, take your own. Because ass you gotta think in certain states or whatever, you can carry line. assault rifles and shit like that. That's mm-hmm. what they're. You know what I'm saying? Like, they can do that. How many people you know just walking around with bulletproof vests that ain't it was got under smoke her. It was or under looking her. for smoke? But, but in today's it's world, shit, well, sound like a push I for mean, gun shit, control. You'd be surprised how many seventy-year-olds is conscious like that, though. But no, how, what Beasy said. Your grandpa probably want all the smoke. A like lot of real people, talk, you tripping? <laughs> see what I'm saying? And, See, and, your and, laugh and, said everything. And again, and, and, then with, and with today's world, with how motherfuckers going haywire, bro, why wouldn't I put on a fucking vest? Your granddaddy probably just shot somebody be, right now. They need to be in the VA. Yeah. He be talking about he a country boy. He's talking talk about See what I'm saying? Yep. And they shoot you first. The yeah. origin of the video is TikTok. So I'm guessing that they were trying to get this to happen, a conversation mm-hmm. about all the mm-hmm. different yeah. things See? that happened Job in the well story done, motherfuckers. to try to get people to watch their video over and over again so that their monetization money can go up. That's all anybody does on TikTok anymore. All right, y'all. Great pot. For sure. I would like to know what everybody got coming up, what y'all got what got going on for the rest of the week, going in the next week. Work, 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 work. That's See it. me, Jimmy, work, 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 work. No, because it's back to school <clears throat> time. And, man, what? Say that shit. Every year when you say that, it just bring a tear. Peace. I'm sorry, y'all. I just be overwhelmed with emotion. But I want to give y'all y'all flowers because y'all still do it. I'm so proud of y'all. Oh, you lucky. Stay strong. <laughs> no, for real. Look, she done made it out. Bro. Yeah, she yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My time over with. Fuck on somewhere, uh, Brandy. Y'all got this, fellas. What you got going on? Every <laughs> year, y'all got this. Shut up. Oh, God. What you got going on? Oh, God. <laughs> Type God. shit. Um, all right, so uh, nothing to lose tape, man. It will be streaming on all platforms. Dropping August the 9th, next Friday. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all tap in. Go and check that out, man. Um, uh, video dropping song. Probably, you know what I'm saying, sometime next week as well. Uh, but outside of that, man, just that, man. I'm getting back to the getting back to the money, man, and, and working on these projects, man. It's trying to start get things lined up. So uh, that's about it. I ain't got nothing going on, man. It's a lot of hustling. That's about it. Hustling and bustling. Hey, yes, shout sir. out to CC for this goddamn pot roast I'm about to go pick up. Mm. Mm. She didn't pay. Hey, bleep that out. She didn't pay for no type of advertisement. Well, I'll Everybody bleep it out, but it. if you hit her up and tell her that it's in there, you can maybe yeah, get she can some give money. Give us a plate. Yeah, hey, we'll see about we'll, we'll see about some free food. We'll see about that. <laughs> what you got going on, brother? Man, Nathan. I ain't doing Hold on, that. wait. Sick. Don't say that no more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that name ain't really cool in oh, these yeah. parts right now. You got to no keep man. it low on the no Nathan. Diddy. No Drizzy. No man. Drizzy. Yeah, no Drizzy. No Drizzy. Freaky man. ass nigga. Fuck you, Nathan. <laughs> 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 no, no. Double back on that, bitch. Oh, Fuck wait, you. His name Nathaniel, but same thing. Fuck Nathan, you, guys. Nathaniel, oh, nasty Nathan. Yeah, that's and cool, man. Come up with something else. Something Go back different. to plates and dates. I'm saying. But outside of Nathan, that's it. Just a lot of, I mean, damn. <laughs> you ain't got shit going on. <laughs> 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 
What a damn thing. What about you, B? <laughs> there you go. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, I'm just working. I got to get to that money. Uh, Make you go like for roof. Damn. <laughs> 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 what about you, Chuck? Whole bunch of editing. I got two nights off. I'm, I got like six projects. I got to wrap up. A whole lot of work. Y'all seen Deadpool and Wolverine? I no. did. Oh, man. I fell asleep on it twice, bro. I got it. Damn. I got a girl you, you one. You got it on the. What you got it on? The website? That's what I saw. Uh, heard that. Spoilers. that little, Please, so, no spoilers. Yep. Yep. Brandy, you have you until next more. Wednesday oh, my yes. to watch Deadpool and Wolverine. Hey, yeah. Hurry up. I am. It's that good. You I'm going to rush you. I keep falling asleep, Nobody man. said anything like, about going I be to trying. I huh? wish I could have seen Russell's I, I wouldn't seen Facebook. it the day it dropped. I took with the boys. I we think went I went like the day after. I ain't watched it. Me and Sean We can watch it, bro. All right, bro. Don't be bringing all that crumble in there. I want to be woke for the goddamn movie. I know that's right. All right. We'll smoke some regular. All right, man. Great pod, everybody. Absolutely. Did y'all miss me over here? Be honest. Is it refreshing to have me? But did you shake your head? No, gang. <laughs> uh, it be your own people. When you got <laughs> friends like you, who needs enemies? <laughs> God <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah, I know that she didn't even care. She just kept it 100. I respect uh, it. Um, be all right, so everybody has an opinion. And everybody has an asshole. And everybody has a podcast. Just not this podcast. This was everybody has one and for... For the sake of it, even though she just turned her back on me, I'm about to play <laughs> Nino Green featuring Brandy Danielle. Level up. Oh man. my God. Yeah, nah, I should play something different. Play something different. Nino. <laughs> Nino. Nino. I love you, twin. Nino. 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 Girl, you bad. Girl, you bad. With a bad. And you be working, you ain't twerking for no burkin. Huh? You got these bitches huh? mad. Yeah. You in a different class, but you be grinding so you get what you deserve. Okay, baby, use a love of love. Baby, use a love of love. You ain't trying to spend shit, you trying to double love. Level love, level love. You ain't trying to spend shit, you trying to double love. We hit the mall and buy it all, we go from A to Z. Black love like Rim and Pat, but ball like J and B. To keep it true, we in the field, we follow guidelines. I never bitch my starting player for a sideline. No lie when I'm trying to kick it, she gotta find me time. All she know is grind, she ain't calling, talking, no wine and dine. Bob ball, ball status, you take me out on my birthday. Even when I'm losing, you make me feel like I'm first place. Flex, flex, flex on the ground, give them that hurt face. Make her ex catch sucker attacks in the worst way. Bust a power move, pop a bottle with toast too. Exclusive fashion, we flashy, you do the most, boo. She the first to put me in another space. There has been no other chick that could truly make my day. Shit, I'm even thinking about getting her. Yeah, I know I can sing like that, did y'all? Man. Don't need a man, she even telling me to wish she heard. And you be working, you ain't twerking for no burkin. You got these bitches mad. Yeah, you in a different class. But you be grinding, so you get what you deserve. Okay, baby, use a love of love. Baby, use a love of love. You ain't trying to spend shit, you trying to double love. Level love. Level love. You ain't trying to spend shit, you trying to double love. We make it happen no matter what when all else fails. Against the world making power moves, Barack and Michelle. Heard about them tales about his past and I don't even care. He had a career playing games, then retired from being a player. Last night we swagged on him, taking pics we dabbed on him. About his chicks I bragged on him, broke chicks he passed on him. I'm never worried, that's about me, who can take my place? He knock off hoes like they purses, he see straight through them fakes. Fix my plate, a long day, he been on this grind. He bits count bands and I'm counting up mad, he say I match his shine. And we go together, like we got matching signs. So if you an enemy of his, then you an enemy of mine. That's love, level so established. Love it when I say, baby, it's cool, I got it. I level up, that chick, so established. Love it when I say, baby, it's cool, I got it. With a bag, with a bag, and you be working, you ain't twerking for no burkin. You got these bitches mad, yeah, you in a different class. But you be grinding, so you get what you deserve. Okay, baby, use a love of love. Baby, use a love of love. You 
you ain't tryna spin shit, you tryna double up. Level up, level up, you ain't tryna spin shit, you tryna double up. Girl, you bad, with a bad, and you be working, you ain't twerking for no burk. You got these bitches mad, you in a different class, but you be grinding so you get what you deserve. Okay, baby, you a level up. Baby, use a level up. You ain't trying to spin shit, you trying to double up. Level up. Level up. Level up. You ain't trying to spin shit, you trying to double up. Hey, we miss you, Yago. Hey, I ain't going to lie. Getting that verse back from Brandy was like pulling motherfucking <laughs> teeth. You hear me? <laughs> man, we bodied that though. Wonder Twin Powers activate. Give me some. Yeah, man. Somebody, anybody. Y'all know what's crazy? We would have to do like a stand-in R&B dude because dude turned into a woman. Somebody, anybody, oh, everybody, tell him when we going to see him. In a minute, boy. In a minute, boy. If he ain't a boy. Turned into a woman is crazy. In a minute, they. <laughs> <laughs>